What's up guys, back with an update on PPP, round one, or round two, but draw one and two. Um, so SBA did update their, you call it landing or website, uh, with certain PPP uh, information. Uh, a big tool on there is to search for lenders in your area. Uh, meaning you can put a zip code in or search by lender name and find who's around you, uh, who's giving out the uh, the draw ones and twos. So that's a pretty pretty good uh, feature. Uh, the PPP loan application and March 31st. So you only have, uh, let's see, it's January 19th. So you have, what, two and a half months or something like that to get it uh, situated with your lender. Um, the simplified form, which was supposed to be released for people who are seeking forgiveness, is supposed to be released tomorrow. However, um, there hasn't been any update from SBA on that. So we'll have to see tomorrow, January 20th, if there is a simplified form. Now, what the simplified form does, uh, or the updated simplified form, basically, uh, if you got the EIDL advance, whether it's a thousand to ten thousand, uh, that doesn't go against your loan amount forgiveness. So that's, I believe, what they're going to update it with. Uh, as far as getting a loan, uh, again, the requirement is you have to have twenty five percent drop in gross receipts, comparing twenty 2020 twenty to twenty nineteen in any quarter. If you're doing this, your second draw is your second time getting PPP loan. And you're on if you're self employed like like I am, and you have a Schedule C, and also I believe there's a Schedule F, which I believe is for agriculture farmers. Um, your draw two, you don't have to pri provide proof that you took that gross uh, revenue or gro gross loss in receipts uh, until you apply for forgiveness. Okay. Um, other than that. Again, the program's fully open, so I encourage you guys, if you guys need it or are thinking about applying, call your lender. If you work already with whoever your bank account is, business checking account, that stuff, call them first. They, uh, especially the smaller banks, tend to help out a little quicker than the big banks. So uh, also FinTechs as well. Uh, you have Cabbage, Bluefin, PayPal, those type of companies that don't necessarily have physical locations, but they have... Um, great support on online and uh, picking up a phone call. Uh, so, anyways, guys, this was a quick update on PPP two. Again, the applications end or the last day to submit. You have to do it before March thirty first of this year. Okay, so make sure you do it right away, uh, be, uh, or until they run out of money, which I'm not sure if that can happen, or I guess it can happen. So um, just keep that in mind. I posted another video about the EIDL uh, advance and loan, so check that out. Uh, I also put a, I'll put a link down below too, in terms of the PPP two information. I uh, just discuss more in detail, uh, along with again, there's a link on there, a uh, tool on there to search for lenders in your area and whoever else is uh, doing a loan. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm just reporting news like this for small business owners. Um, until next time guys, thanks for watching. Peace.